Shut up and sit down. Oftentimes, shoppers looking for a big screen notebook need to settle for low level battery life. But that's not the case with the 15 inch HP Spectre X360, a sexy black and copper beast that will turn heads and have you readying your credit card. It's got the speed of an 8th gen Core i7 CPU, a battery that lasts 2 hours longer than the category average, and a colorful 4K display. However, its heat and keyboard razor thermometers and eyebrows, respectively. Still, there's so much to like about this black and copper machine that you might be left green with envy if you see someone rocking it in public. Design. From its minimalist logo to the curves on its rear edge, the 15-inch Spectre X360 is one seductive piece of heavy metal. I love its sleek black and copper colorway. However, I still scratch my head at HP's decision to call this look dark ash silver with copper looks. Quotation mark. At 4.2 pounds and 14.0 x 9.9 x 0.7 inches, the Spectre X360 is lighter than the Dell XPS 15, 4.6 pounds, 14.1 x 9.3 x 0.7 inches, and the Lenovo Yoga 720 15 inch, 4.6 pounds, 14.3 x 9.5 x 0.8 inches. Both of those computers, though, are drab and boring gray rectangles that can't touch the Spectre X360's elegance. The Spectre X360's Thunderbolt 3, USB Type-C and HDMI ports sit on its right side, and a fast-charging USB 3.1 port is on the left, next to the headphone jack and near the SD memory reader. Annoyingly, the Spectre X360 is missing the fingerprint reader that its little brother, the 13-inch Spectre X360, offers. The XPS 15 and Yoga 720s also pack fingerprint sensors. Display. The Spectre X360's QHD, 3840x2160, panel offers solid color and excellent detail. As I blasted my way through rounds of the side-scroller cup head, I noticed that red and green finger gun blasts popped with accurate hues, and the game's luscious hand-drawn backgrounds and characters looked crisp enough to have been painted on my screen. Producing 130% of the sRGB color spectrum, the Spectre X360 screen tops the 103% category average and the 114% from the Lenovo Yoga 720. The 188% panel in the Dell XPS 15 is even more colorful. Emitting up 247 nits, the Spectre X360's panel isn't the brightest. However, it didn't feel like a huge problem during testing with the maximum brightness looking good enough for video and gaming. Still it's a small drop from the 256 nit category average, and well below the 282 nit rating from the XPS 15 and the 272 nit reading from the Yoga 720. And even though it's quite reflective, it offers solid viewing angles, with colors retaining their pop at 45 degrees to the left and right. The Spectre's touchscreen display accurately tracked my touch input as I navigated the desktop and clicked through tabs in Chrome. It also correctly registered Windows 10 navigational swipe gestures for viewing all open apps and opening the Action Center. HP's included Active Stylus provides decent input, though I did see a moderate amount of delay and latency, the pause between drawing and the line appearing, while drawing in Ms. Paint. What I love about this pen, though, is that it's charged from a USB Type-C port in its barrel, revealed by twisting and pulling on the butt barrel. It's much more convenient than using hard-to-find AAAA batteries, which I've only ever found online.